The last Moonshot event of MLB The Show 23 is here. It's actually the last event of MLB The Show 23. It's the Moonshot Forever event. Any hitters are allowed, but only common pitchers. The rewards for this event are just a whole bunch of rewind packs, as well as some chase packs from earlier in the year. And you can use any hitters, but you can only use common pitchers. For my lineup today, we have the Commerce Comet, Mickey Mantle, batting first, playing center, Katal Marte at second batting second chipper jones at third batting third this anthony santander in the right field spot this cycle ellie de la cruz batting fifth playing shortstop brian reynolds in left J Ram at DH, Yasmani at catcher, and then Adley Rushman at first base. On the bench, we got Tim Raines, set one, Bay Ruth, set two, bringer of rain, Josh Donaldson, and then the set one, WBC Lindor. We're the home team, so we're pitching first, common pitchers versus any hitters you want to use. I give up a ton of home runs just using diamond pitchers, so I'm so interested to see how it goes using these commons, as that's one batter, one out for us. Hey. And there is the first home run of the day. I think I want to try to keep track of what the longest homer is. So we'll check the distance 410 on the first homer of the video. And besides the home run, we didn't pitch too bad. Only one of them. Let's see how many we can hit. And let's see if I can hit a 500 foot home run today. And there might be the 500 foot homer. I kind of doubt it, but one batter. And we got our first homer of the day. Mickey Mantle, the Commerce Comets. 413 feet i think we have a new longest and chipper jones goes yard for our second home run of the inning this is what you like to see in the moonshot event two to one 411 feet i think we chose the right ballpark and look at anthony santander Oh, that one felt great. That's dead center field off the batter's eye. Back-to-back -back homers, our third of the inning, our longest of the day, 440-foot homer for Santander. We've only given up one. Let's try not to give up any more in the top of the second. And we have lost connection with our opponent. I think we were about to have a 1-2-3 top of the second. And we went from negative one up to zero wins here in the Moonshot event. Second game of the event, we are the away team, so we get a hit first. Common pitchers, any hitters you want, we got the same lineup. And for this game, we're at Coors Field, another high, another max elevation ballpark. But the fences are a little bit longer compared to the one we were just playing at. Let's try to hit some more home runs. And that's ball four to Cattell Marte. So if we hit a home run, then we should be getting more than one run from it. Not a homer, but it is a perfect perfect. That felt pretty good. And I like our chances to score here. I don't think it's a double play, but I don't think it's a home run either. Probably would have been at the last ballpark. I'll stop the runner at third, and we have the lead here. Top of the first. And then Ellie goes yard. Oh, I want to see the distance on that. Perfect perfect on the slider. And we don't get to see the distance. He quit before we could, but we've already got two wins in this event. Oh, I forgot that last time we went negative one up to zero wins. Now we went from zero up to one wins. I need to find who the good pitchers are to use. We're the home team playing at a different ballpark. The third one we'll have seen in this video, but we get a pitch first. And the first pitch that I throw, we've already given up a base runner. 99 speed, Trey Turner's on first here at Bush Stadium. The very next pitch, and if he goes to third, we might have him. I got a perfect throw to third. I want to have him. But no, runners are going to be on the corners. Still nobody down. At least we haven't given up a home run yet. I thought that might be. I thought it was just getting ready to come right after I said that. 99 speed on its way home. Perfect throw, perfect relay, even with Ellie and his cannon. We're already losing in this game. Not a home run. We actually got a ground ball. I was hoping maybe you double play, but we'll just have to try again. That's a big out number two for us. If we could just allow one run, I'd be happy with that. And there we go. Only one run allowed. Let's try to get it back. Maybe we can hit a home run or two. I really thought that was a home run. We got the hanging changeup, but it took longer to get to the plate than I thought it would. And I just thought, speaking of thoughts that i would enjoy doing the moonshot events except if a player homers then we have to swap them out for the next game 
So Ellie De La Cruz had a home run last game. If I was doing that, then he wouldn't be in the lineup. Somebody else would be playing in his spot. I think that could be a fun video. And I'm going to send the runner to third. Hopefully we'll be safe and have runners on the corners. He's going to be safe easily. Our chance to tie the game, if not more. Don't be a double play. Anything but a double play. 53 speed. I didn't score any runs. And no runs, no base runners allowed in the top of the second. Maybe we could actually tie it. Maybe we could actually take the lead here in the bottom of the second. I hope J-Ram goes yard. The timing is there. The PCI is not. And it's gone. With two outs in the second, he ties the game at one. If we could get another home run, we'd be going for the win. And there's another home run. Yasmani Grandal just murdered that baseball. That seemed like such a violent swing. 2-1, to one, 439 here at Bush. And just like that, back-to-back -back homers, we have the lead. And we're three outs away from getting another win in this event. I don't think it'll be three in a row. It's not. After two, we're winning two to one. Oh, no. It's off his glove. He didn't catch it. No double play, but we got out number one. The tying run, though. 99 speeds in scoring position now. Three and two now to Jose Ramirez. And that's a big out number two. One out away from getting the win, but I think 99 speed's gonna move up to third base. Only 90 feet away. And Vlad Jr. goes yard, giving my opponent the lead with two outs in the top of the third. Now I need at least a solo home run in the bottom of the third. Let's try to get there, only losing by one. I should have went to the lefty. Not left in Ramirez after giving up that homer, but now there's another runner in scoring position. And it's not over yet at all. Four to two now in the top of the third. There we go. That's all we'll allow. We're losing by two. I need a bloop and a blast or maybe just a couple blasts, a couple moonshots here in the moonshot event. And I just lost this game. My first loss of the day. I'm never picking this ballpark again. It's bad luck. Let's bounce back and maybe hit some more homers here at Polo Grounds for this event game. And that's a pretty good at top of the first inning. Now we need to go hit some home runs, take an early lead. And look at Cattell Marte. I don't think it's an out of the park home run, but it might be an inside the park home run. 83 speed. And that's a ground rule double to that part of the park. That one hung up in the air a long time. And this makes me want to play a polo grounds, maybe for an entire video for the moonshot event. Just see if we could somehow hit a dead center field home run. I'm not sure if, if it's even possible in the game. And we just walked with Santander. This one I don't think has any chance to be an inside the parker, but Ellie just drives in a run. We got a one nothing lead. That's the final out. Wait, we only scored one run. And we just had another score listening on the mound. So three outs away for back-to-back -back games from going for the win. Last time we blew it. This time we do not want to blow it. I want to score some more runs. Maybe even get an inside the park home run or a dead center field home run. Which was what Jose Ramirez was trying to do, but a little bit late on that one. And we just walked with Yasmani. So let's try to drive him in. We got Adley Rushman, then the top of our lineup back around. Mickey Mansell gets a two-ounce base hit. We got two on, two ounce, the bottom of inning number two, three ounce away from winning this game. And I really would like another home run. Let's see if Cattell Marte can maybe pull one. Well, we pulled it. Should I send 26 speed home? That might have been a bad idea. I regret sending 26 speed home. And the first pitch I throw in the top of the third, the tying run is on base. I don't want to blow another game. Nope, not today. I don't know if we'll get the double play. At least get one. Yeah, we got one, the lead runner. Maybe we'll get a double play on the next hitter. Two outs away now from getting the win. And that's out number two. And we just walked Brian Roberts facing Derek Jeter. The go-ahead run now is on base, but we do have two outs. We're just one out away. 
And there's that one out. I think that's what, three wins now in our first four games? That's not a bad start to the Moonshot event. 